Welcome to my first uh, UVI video review. Uh, we're going to be doing, uh, talking about UVI's Vintage Vault. A uh, great program. As you can see here, it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 uh, different programs. Beatbox Anthology, Dark Light. Digital Sensations, Emulation 2, Emulation 1, Mellow, String Machines, The Beast, UVX 10P, UVX 3P, Ultra Mini, Vector Pro, Vintage Legends, and Wave Runner, which are all vintage analog sounds if you haven't looked into this program. So you're going to download all these, you know, once you purchase this, this is already purchased, so that's where I'm on this page. It'll be under your UVI accounts under my my products. And if you don't already have the UVI station, you're going to want to download that, which I already have. So we're going to open up the UVI workstation. And one thing you're going to want to do, which I've already done, but I'll tell you how to do it, is once you've downloaded all of your sounds, you're going to want to put them all in one folder. I have mine on my desktop. You can see here, it's UVI sounds. So all these U .ufs files are the programs. So you put them all in one folder, and then you're going to want to click onto here, the general. You're going to go to sound banks, and then you're going to go add a new sound bank folder location. As you can see, mine's right here on my desktop, UVI Sounds. That's this right here. And then that's how you import all your sounds. So we're going to go back to this. And as you can see here, that's the tutorial set that comes with it. But all of these are the sounds. And great sounds. I mean, if you look here, that's a... A lot of stuff, in my opinion, it's, it's well worth the price. So we're just going to... One of the things I had trouble with is figuring out how to actually get this some audio going. So we'll click on the... We'll click on this CSM. So first thing when I did, I opened this, and I, I have my USB keyboard plugged in, and I was pressing on it, but nothing was happening. So what you have to do is click on this, A1, Omni. And then as you can see here, we get some sounds finally. That's just one of the... So as you can see, you know, we're just on the, the first couple sounds and we're already getting some good stuff. So in this video, I'm just going to briefly go through the some of the sounds, and then in other videos, I'm going to try to uh, spotlight on them, you know, more full videos on the specific ones. So we have the dark light here, which is obviously based off the fair light. So we'll go to, uh, you know, we'll go to fair voices, how's that? the classic Fairlight. Just another one we'll do uh, some synths as that's some analog strings. You get a nice analog string sound right there. And as you can see here you can mess around with all this so say so you want the release to be a little bit longer because that was kind of short. And, uh, you know, you get your attack, your delay, sustain. You get all that stuff, which is great because you can mess around with it. Bit Crusher, if you want it to sound more. A little bit more distorted. And, uh, you know, just mess around with things like that. 
Digital Sensations, DSX, D7, DS90. I like the pads on these. You know, if you're into the analog 80 sounds like me. This is definitely the program for you. Um, one other thing I just wanted to mention was the technical support of UBI. Um, I had a few problems uh, downloading the software, which wasn't their fault at all. It was actually mine. I was downloading the the software and I was using my RAR extractor, not this one, but a different one. And what was happening is these are large files. Um, we'll, we'll bring it up here. Um, you got 1.7 gigabytes. This one's nine gigabytes. You know, so 9.3 gigabytes, 15 gigabytes. So what was happening is when I was opening some of these programs in my RAR extractor, and I would open them and it would say it was extracting, and then nothing would happen because I'm so used to it, you know, light and fast extracting. But since these are such large files, it's going to take a, maybe a couple minutes. So what was happening with me is I would try to extract them, nothing would happen. I would close the RAR extractor, reopen it, click on it again, and then it would seem like it was done extracting. And then when I tried to open it in UVI workstation, it would say the file was corrupted. So I didn't know what was going on, why the files were corrupted, but after I talked to the technical support, they helped me out. They were very quick to get back to me. Um, it almost felt like we were text messaging because I would email them and within five minutes I would have a response and they were, you know, they were just very nice about it and told me to keep them updated if I have any other trouble. So they're some of the best customer service I've ever experienced, which is great. Um, when you're, you know, I was really excited to get this software and to get it going and I had a few setbacks, setbacks but... They helped me uh, get it going, so I just want to shout out to UVI. Uh, they're not paying me at all to make these videos, but I just um, wanted to show you guys my experience with the program. So we got drumulation here. Let's see here. Uh, let's start a sound. Black Club 80s. It's kind of a funny title. You know, they just don't have the, just not, it's not just the synths, you know, and they also have B-Box Anthology. If you're trying to, you know, they have all these really old drum machines, pretty much every one, which is great. You know, I can, it's just my, I've never heard of this one, but let's give it a try. like one of those old keyboard uh keyboard drums it looks like and we got uh let's look at someone that someone else might know i guess we'll go with classic 808 okay everyone knows the 808 oops or like sorry So that's all bass drums, I'm sorry. I don't really use this one this much, so that's why I'm just kind of... So 
this is all snare drums. So you got your 808, you got your bass drum, you got your CC, crash maybe, hi-hat, percussion, snare drums, and toms. You got your 909. See, now this is, that's just the, you know, you got to play all the sounds separately, it looks like. You got your drum emulation, emulation 2, emulation 1, I really like this. It's the em emu emulator. Uh, let's go for some synths. Sorry about all the talking in this video. Um, this is probably going to be my only video with a lot of talking, and the other ones it's going to be more just showing you the sounds. But I just had to, a few things I had to get out of the way. And this is also great um, with Logic. It's very incompatible with Logic. I do recording in Logic. So we'll open up Logic. Let's see here. This is just a song I had recorded. Play all the tracks. So if you see the, the blue tracks are real audio that I recorded with my actual keyboard but this right here is actually an emulation that's really you know so as you, you can see here it's pretty easy to use both of them together so I have the MIDI track right here and you just switch it And if we want, we can, you know, say we don't want to use Emulation 2 anymore. We want to use this. Uh, I guess this track is a bad example because it's, uh, it's a really choppy track. So you got to put up the release, but... Just gives you an example of that. It's really easy to uh, incorporate in your logic recording, you know, if you have a MIDI and it's really easy to switch around the sounds, which is great. So this is pretty much it for the, the first video. It's kind of just getting you started. Um, as you can see here, you know, we got a lot to go over, but I just wanted to briefly touch on all the uh, the great sounds that they have um, in this vintage vault and in the second video like I said maybe I'll try to do two a video or three a video and just uh, mostly just do some sounds for you so thanks for watching and keep checking back